Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is inspired by the show The Strain. If you've seen it, you already know. If not, I'll put a picture alongside with one of mine so you can kind of see, get an idea of what it is I was going for. Okay, so I've already started uh, concealing my eyebrows. I'm using the school glue and I'll post the link down below for that. So I've already done a layer of that and I'm using a translucent setting powder over it because I'm not going to be using something flesh toned. I want to make the face pale so I need this white translucent powder. I've already done a layer and I did another layer of glue but now I'm going in with the powder. Alright, so I'm having some technical difficulties. If you have the scarring liquid, um, this one would have been from Maron, but uh, I don't know what happened. It just solidified in the bottle, but um, if you have it, use it before putting on the face paint. Um, so that way it gives it a little bit more depth for the cracks around the face. So I'm just going to be using uh, the grease paint, and let me just get into that. Okay, so I'm using the Maron Foundation um, Grease Paint. I'm going to be dipping into the white and just a touch of the gray because it's not completely white. It's like a little off tone, so I'm going to be mixing those two. Staying in the same palette, I'm going to be using the black to go over the eyes and to create the cracks. And for the cracks, I'm going to be applying it with this e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush. Now getting into the cracks, I really wish I would have had that scarring liquid, but I mean, do what you can. Um, it's just light hair-like strokes and just, you, you can get creative with it and I just, that's one of the reasons why I like doing face paint and special effects is that you can get really messy and it doesn't really matter because the whole point is just like scary, it's bloody, it, it's just a good time. So let's just get into that. And you just pick anywhere and just extend it out. Doesn't have to be a perfect line. Add your little details here and there. And this is the finished look. Um, super easy, well for me anyway. I, I think anybody could do it. Um, hopefully you guys liked it. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.